This isn't your typical Saturday morning cartoon, but I'm bringing you an extra video today. It's going to be a quick one. Today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you want to rush the main story and you don't want to miss out. This is the best way to get a boost in early game progression. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day. Here's some tips if you're stuck in progression. Number one, use element advantage. Element advantage is 20% more damage and 10% more crit rate. Use it. Number two, level up your runes. While questing and auto farming at night, you're going to be getting a ton of crappy runes. You will be getting a ton of rune enhancement stones. And trust me, you're going to have 50,000 at some point. When leveling runes early game, do not push 3 star runes more than plus 9. And do not push blue 4 star runes over plus 6. Because once you get past plus 6, it starts to cost sky stones. Save your sky stones for later. Anytime you get a summon scroll, make sure to summon it. Because what you are looking for are dupes. You're looking for dupes for your three stars or four stars so you can skill them up. The faster you skill them up, the more damage they do. This is why skill ups are important because a level one double arrow does 275% attack where a level seven double arrow does 600% of attack. If you're looking for rainbow mons to evolve your three star monsters, go to the area dungeon. As you can see, I beat one out of three on pretty much every one that I've been to because it gives three star rainbow mons. This is how as free to play, I was able to get level 70 on Asalia, Konamiya, and Shannon. If you need more breath of life or three star rainbow mons early game, go to the exchange pieces and exchange out your pieces for breath of life mainly. That's the one star pieces and the two star pieces. They are specifically for Breath of Life. For three star pieces, only use the shards that you know you're not going to build. And use that on either Breath of Life or three star Rainbow Mon if you really need them that bad. But once you get to a point where you don't need to build any three stars anymore, then use them on Breath of Life. The more you know. Okay, so why do I always say complete the main story first? You should focus on that only. And if you're really trying to optimize your early game and be as quick as possible, then main story it is. There's a couple different reasons why. And this is in no particular order. One reason is when you complete the Shrekly stage in Chapter 4, you get a light and dark summon. So this will determine, really, because I know you saved that 3-star selective LND ticket, right? So this will determine what you will need to pull and hey, I got a Dark Hellhound, yippee. So I'm probably going to get a Dark Harpy Helia when I need it. But I haven't needed a Dark Harpy yet. I've been just fine pushing along. So I still have my tickets. I still have my selective. Second reason the rush main story. Your guard journal. The farther you get in main story, the more area dungeons are open for more crystals and more rainbow mons. Like I said in a previous video, every stage has an easy, hard, and very hard. But they may as well call it super easy, mildly easy, and easy. I don't know where that accent came from. But anyway, also the monster story. The farther you get in the game, in the main story, the more monster stories open. I already did Wind Mystic Witch for the Laboratory of Madness, Water Shrekly Dungeon, and I beat it first try, no problem. Wind Mystic Witch, Shannon, and Konamiya did the job just fine. Now the monster story. You push this because, A, you get Light Mimic, and that's a 3 million gold quest. So when you run out of gold, this is where you go. You also get Fire Raven and Fire Beetle Knight. Fire Raven is a staple for every summoner. Fire Beetle Knight you only really need if you're Orbia or Kina. Or if you're trying to go super duper condom cleave meta for free to play early game, then yeah, Beetle Knight 
but we don't have enough devil mons yet either is free to play so really you don't need any of these yet now another reason to rush the main story is getting to ruka rangma as fast as possible and the reason you want to get to ruka rangma as fast as possible is because of the creature book so the creature book gives a ton 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 of rewards early game like if you farm this every single time you're away from the keyboard or away from your phone you will get a ton of rewards but the main reason you rush ruka rangma is because early game it's not optimal to farm rune dungeons you farm the creature book whenever you're afk you go to the creature book and you go to any of the monsters in ruka rangma you click on their icon you click their location and you move here is where you farm runes early game the monsters in the ruka rangma creature book only drop purple four star swift and foresight runes these may not benefit you the most for the monsters that you have built you will be getting a ton of them so i highly suggest to increase your rune bag go to the special price tab and go to rune bag and click on the 3600 crystals one per account it's fine you're gonna get a ton of crystals this is 150 runes only get this when you get the root Rangma. You can also get the general bag expansion package too. It's worth it. The more room you have, the easier quality of life you have. Trust me. Before you AFK room farm, make sure your inventory is clear by clicking on one, two, three, four stars. All the runes. It doesn't matter. Trust me. Get rid of normal, medium, and rare rarities. Do not have heroic highlighted. Click apply. Select all. Disassemble select all disassemble select all disassemble Let's get rid of them all even the ones you've leveled up get rid of them if you go to sleep and wake up eight hours later your room bag will be full of this purple four star gear you will be able to go through all the four star gear and be selective as heck on them and you could be super picky like this swift room has precision and crit rate, which is good for a swift basic attack type of rune. However, it has a flat attack. Just disassemble it. You'll see when your bag is full, you're going to be super picky. But purple runes is when you can go over plus six because it's going to start costing skystone. Stop it. Nah. For four star runes, I would start at plus nine until you get hard stuck. Your main goal is to be able to get to level 14 dungeons. Put the swift runes on your damage dealers. Put the foresight runes on your tanks and supports. This is just temporary gear until you start to be able to farm 5 star runes. Another reason to rush Ruka Ragma and the main story is repeat requests. These repeat requests are the ones that you want. I haven't used any repeat requests except for three to get the 300 crystals daily. My main goal is to push the quest till I can at least get calming the disturbance. This is my first goal. Calming the disturbance gives you path of growth tickets, gives you unknown scrolls, and it also gives breath of life. All those rewards are great, obviously, but I'm rushing this mainly because. The EU server has a Water Desert Queen event coming. It's already been stated by Com to us. And if it's anything, anything like the OG Bastet event from North America, it is going to be very friendly in that five Water Desert Queen drops from the event. And it's all about Path of Growth tickets and even Essence Dungeon tickets. And because I'm free to play, I'm going calming the disturbance because this will give me more resources overall. I don't need yarn yet. It's not a focus. So even though I'd probably get more points from the event doing essence dungeon tickets, I'm doing calming the disturbance because I want unknown scrolls and I want breath of life. Plus, by the time Bastet event comes out, I will have enough path of growth tickets and hopefully be strong enough with my purple four star runes to be able to farm a good dungeon in Path of Growth to get 5 star runes. And that's it for today's video. I don't even know if that was a quick video like I talked about. But hey, it's a bonus video. So if you like this video, 
sub, like, ding, ding, bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.